Hello everybody, my name is Eli. My name is Jason. My name is Caden. And my name is Jaden. And we are the Yahoo and the Tori YouTube channel. And we are actually really proud, and we shouldn't be prideful, but we're really proud that we are part of the, U the Yahoo and the Tori channel. And this is not our channel, this is Yah's channel. This, this channel is devoted to the laws, statutes, and commands of our Creator. Something that we, this family, and I hopefully you and your family, have written on your hearts, minds, and souls, and it is what guides your life. And, you know, it, it is actually probably the best guidance of any kind of life. If you are young, if you are old, if you are anything, if you take the law, statutes, and commands and write them up on your heart, mind, and soul, it will change your life for the better in every way. Why does it change your life for the better in every way, Kate? Um, it helps you. It teaches you what to do, where to, where to go. You know that you're not going to go into a sinful life. You know that you're not going to hook up with the people that are in the sinful world, and you're not going to get into that mess, and that's how it helps you. What does that mean, hook up with the people in the world? That means you're not going to go out into the world and looking for trouble. You're not going to go find the people that are out there sinning, stealing from people. You're not going to go into a life of crime. You're not going to go into a life of... What about evil. marrying a woman that is uh, a different religion? Uh, that, 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 do not recommend that. that is well, like, what would the Torah say? Uh, it would say no. It would say only of your people. And your it, people is Yisrael, and Yisrael is the people who follow the command. And why would it be a bad idea if you are unequally yoked? Because she it, did, it's like Solomon. He When he married other women that believed other things, he got ended up worshiping other people as well. Yeah. I mean, he might have had 700 different gods. He had 700 different wives. This man's a player. <laughs> this, this, this man is not a man of Yah. But how do we how do we end up saying this is the the... the wisest man in the world when this I know I, he literally wrote about the women and then he ends up doing it I well it, it, that's the thing about the wisest person in the world we have the wisest guy in the world and he, and he cannot he stay pure yeah yeah he cannot he stay, can't stay pure keep it together man no not at all and that would be what what the heck man so anyway this is not the subject but the subject is a lot of statues and commands and we are going to take a quick stab at yesterday's um and show you guys what we came up with and uh, we actually came up with a bunch of them, and we're not done yet. We got the the actual command, and then there's a whole bunch of subcommands in this. And so we ended up with three commandments, and commandment 16 is keep the Passover. And it's got a bunch of stuff, and there's a ton of stuff inside of that, which we are going to edit tonight and get that done. Commandment 7 is keep the Feast of Unleavened Bread. And commandment 18 is going to be there's one Torah for the stranger and the Ebrium. Eli, what is the Ebrium? It is the Hebrew. It's like those who keep the Torah and do what Yahuwah says. So who are the Ebrium? Us. Us. And you guys out there. All of our big digital virtual family um, that we have mad love for. And we do totally appreciate your time spending this with us in this giant digital table that we have. <clears throat> and let's get on with it, gentlemen, and um, see what we got. And for anyone that's out there... That is, we, there's a couple of you guys that have like added some commands and, and have um, basically gone over the things we have and then have suggestions for us. If you guys see something in the last three chapters that we did inside of this, and once we get this fine-tuned, if you guys find something, please let us know in the comments that you guys see that there's a commandment or something else. What we are trying to do is we are trying to get exactly the commandments that apply to us as Ebri, as the Hebrews, as Yah's people. And there's a lot of commandments that are dealing with um, things we can't do. Temples and priests and slaughterings and, and just a tremendous amount of things of that nature. And we don't... Um, just checking out the dogs. And those are things we wouldn't do. And so this is what we're going to do is we're going to get this big list once we're finally done and we're, you know, we are... Um, one book out, and we are in the second book. We are in Exodus, and we are into Exodus 13. Is that correct, gentlemen? Yes, sir. Yep. Okay, let us begin. And Yahuwah spoke unto Moshe, saying, Sanctify unto me all the firstborn. Whatsoever opens the womb among the children of Yashrael, both of man and of beast, it is mine. Okay, quick recount. We just had a great, crazy exodus, right? Right. We had a little short guy, Ferro, who's 18 inches tall, according to the book of Jasher. And he went to war with Yah, and Yah went to war with him. And at the end of the days, we ended up with a, just gnats and flies and lice and death. boils and death and the death of um, animals. 
It was just, what else do we have? Then we had the Death of First Born. We had hail, oh, we had darkness, darkness, hail. hail. Then we had locusts. Locusts. Locusts came and, and ate the, up everything. The crops were all gone, and nothing left, no animals left. So the, the, the Hebrews, the, the people of Yah, left a very rich country devastated, right? These people are probably broke because Hasatan, I think it was the book of Jasher, also talks about how Hasatan was bound for, I think, three days while the the Israelites and, and people were, were pillaging, right? And I know they only pillaged for a day, but he was being bound so that these people um, would allow this to happen. Because if, if you have, I guess, the voice of evil or something of the sort, he's going to um, do evil stuff and, and influence you. So this is very interesting stuff. Let's hit it. Um, so the first thing is like sanctify unto me all firstborn and whatso, whatsoever opens a womb among the children of Yashrael, both of man and beast, it is mine. That almost sounds like a command. I think almost. it is. Let's discuss, is it, let's discuss this real quick. Okay, so it does look like a command. Sanctify, and Yahweh spoke to Moshe saying, sanctify unto me all, the, all of the, the firstborn. So what would this mean? Does anyone have any idea what this would mean? Um, I think it's like you got to like, you got to like give up your children. I mean, it's not like give up your children, but like they're. For- Jade, you're the firstborn. I am supposed to sanctify. I what think does that mean? we belong to Yahuwah. Like we are like kind of like first fruit offerings. Are they like the Nazarites? Is that what it is? Like when you turn into a Nazarite? I don't think that's what that is. So should we take away your razor? Don't let you cut your hair. Don't drink wine. Should you be a Nazarene? Is it, Nicole, we're probably going to need your help on this because we don't know exactly what this means. Um, what does sanctify? What is your, what is your guys' uh, Kadosh. Kadosh. And so that's... Uh, set apart. Yeah, set apart. So this is something I guess we're kind of stuck on because I don't know exactly what that would mean, sanctify. But it does look like a command. And so we will add it to the command and we will um, explore this much further so i don't know so much we're going to do more than one chapter because this is one command and we want to dial in the other one so this is going to be a real short lesson tonight so let's continue on <clears throat> three and moshe said unto the people remember this day in which he came out of mitzram out of the house of bondage for by strength of hand yahuwah brought you out of this place there shall be no kamats be eaten and so what day is he talking about remember this day uh, this is feast of unleavened bread feast of unleavened bread so we already know that we're supposed to remember this day. Do we have another command on this? No, I think he's. Uh, I think because it was told to Yah uh, from Yahuwah to Moshe. I think Moshe is going from himself to the people. Okay, I agree. This day sh- ye shall. Ye, this day came ye out in the month of. I don't know why they have Aviv in this. Why have yeah, mine's Aviv as well? Is it Aviv? Yeah. So it would be fir- first month. First month. <clears throat> and it shall be when Yahuwah shall bring you into the land of Canaan and. Kithium and the Emerian and the Kivian and the Yevusim, which he swore unto your fathers to give you a land flowing with milk and honey, that you shall keep this service in this month. Seven days ye shall you shall eat matzah, and in the seventh day shall be a feast to Yahuwah. Matzah shall be eaten seven days, and there shall be no kamatz be seen with you. Again, what is kamatz? Leaven bread. Leaven bread. And how do they say it? Because I'm not sure. Kamatz. If I'm, kamatz. Kamitz. Kamitz. Be seen with you. Neither shall there be leaven seen with you in all your quarters. So, are, do we have any new commands here? No. No. This is the, all these, previous these are, last chapter is exactly the exact same things. Like Except chapter. for the sanctified. Did we have that prior? No. Not, because Yahuwah just spoke that fresh. I think it's because he just wiped out all the firstborns. So we're like, oh, all the firstborn belong to me. That is very interesting. Yeah. So we we do need to discuss this and figure out what does that mean exactly. Um, where am I, at? Nicole? I don't know. Seven, I think. Let me see. Uh, I, I was in, uh, in your quarters. No, eight. Eight. And you shall show your son in that day, saying, This is done because of that which Yahuwah did unto me when I came forth out of Mitzram. And it shall be for a sign upon your, ha- upon your <laughs> hand and for a memorial between your eyes. That's Leo that says hi. That Yahuwah's Torah may be in your mouth, for with a strong hand has Yahuwah brought you out of Mitzram. Okay, so I think that's a command there to inform your son. This is in well. No, okay, he said so it last time as well. He said it in the last chapter as well. And it shall be a sign up unto you upon your hand. What does that mean? And for a memorial between your eyes, that Yahuwah's Torah may be in your mouth. For with a strong hand has Yahuwah brought you out of Mitzrayim. Okay, what is he saying is going to be a sign? My friends, the sign of the Pesach, I think. Because yeah, so he's and eleven bread. Right. Because in the last chapter he says, uh, to, when the children ask, "What does this mean?" He's like, 
Uh, this means that all these years ago, Yahuwah took us out of the land of Mitzrayim, away from bondage, and saved us and brought us into this land. All right, what does your guys say in verse 9? Verse 9 says, It shall be as a sign to you on your hand and as a reminder between your eyes that the Torah of Yahuwah is to be in your mouth. For with a strong hand, Yahuwah has brought you out of Mitzrayim. So I think it's like, uh, write this upon your heart, I think. Is a, it says there's a sign upon your hand and a memorial between your eyes. So if like you take this literally... Like, you put a sign on your hand and stamp something between your your eyes or something. I but I, I don't your, believe that is what it I would mean. I think it was mean. between your eyes. Maybe you're talking about like your, your mind, like remember it. Write it on your hand. I mean, if something's written on your hand, you're going to remember it on all times. Um, so is there is this a command? Nicole, do you see anything here? Does it get like tattoos on her hand or something? No, it says don't mark your hands. So that's a command. Don't No no tattoos, Cubby. <laughs> um, I, I don't know. This is kind of a com this is a complex chapter. This is, this is more complex than the ones we've... Uh, been upon so i don't think that, that he's saying have a commandment of a sign upon your hand but it it, no, it is just like a remembrance you need to remember and if you do this it would be a sign upon all of this is what i am looking at and again some of you guys out there emissary of elohim if you see something in this that we miss um or anybody out there who who can maybe you know maybe clear this up for us we are all talking as a group as a big tribe here so this is uh you know we're involving all of you guys out there so if you guys have um, input into this uh we would love to hear from you absolutely love to hear from you verse 10 you shall therefore guard this ordinance in his appointed time from year to year so there's a command there there's a whole bunch of commands in there. something in this so this is this is the command you shall guard this ordinance in his appointed time from year to year that's like the, like the uh, Feast of Unleavened Bread saying to remember this for every single year. Uh, now, it's still a command. I mean, there's still a command. I think we need to add this celebrate, into... Celebrate Feast of Unleavened Bread every year? Yeah, under the other under this section right here that we have, I think we need to add these verses. Um, when it talks about celebrating the Passover, like, right, keep the Feast of Unleavened Bread. Under that, we would have... Um, we would have something in here. So we got a lot of work as a, as a family here, so... We will keep going through this, and then we will actually get to work. Um, therefore, guard this ordinance, in, and it shall be when Yahuwah shall bring you into the land of Kinnanim, as he swore unto you and to your fathers, and shall give it to you, that you shall set apart unto Yahuwah all that open the womb, and every firstling that comes of a beast which you have, the males shall be Yahuwah's. Okay, I think we're dealing with another command here. I, I, think, mean, it's, I think it's the same one because I think you're repeating it to the people now. Um, that you shall set apart unto Yahuwah all that open the womb. So is this repeating? This, this is, is repeating. This is like verse, verse thir one, this right? like thirteen one, and then yeah, reference. He's uh, not reference telling the people because Yahuwah told him this. Now he's telling the people. Okay, so we need to be very thorough when we do this. And so next time when we come to you guys, I believe we will have this dialed in a little bit better. But there's a lot of commands and a lot of this stuff, and we want to be very thorough. And so it is worth spending the time on this and, and trying to find out what it is. And every firstling of a donkey you shall redeem with a lamb, and if you will not redeem it, then you shall break his neck, and all the firstborn of man among your children shall you redeem. Okay, and so basically if you want to save your donkey, you would have to come up with another blood sacrifice, and then you redeem it. There's more, I think there's more commands here. Um... This is going to get a little more complex than I thought it was, but we're going to make it through. Verse 14. And it shall be when your son asks you in time to come, saying, What is this that you shall say unto him? By strength of hand, Yahuwah brought us out of Misram from the house of bondage. And it came to pass when Pharaoh would hardly let us go, that Yahuwah slew all the firstborn in the land of Misram, both the firstborn of man and the firstborn of beast. Therefore, I sacrificed to Yahuwah. All that opens the womb, being males, but all the firstborn of my children, I redeem. Okay. And it shall be a mark for a mark upon your hand and for frontlets between your eyes. For by strength of hand, Yahuwah brought us forth out of Mitzrayim. So here we go again. We have a, a mark on the hand and the, the frontlets of our eyes. And it came to pass when Pharaoh had let the people go, that Elohim led them not through the way of the land of the Peleshitim, although that was near. For Elohim said, Lest perchance the people repent when they see war, and they return to Mitzrayim. But Elohim led the people about through the way of the wilderness of the Red Sea. And the children of Yashrael went up, harnessed out of the land of Mitzrayim. 
And Moshe took the bones of Yosef with him, for he had straightly sworn the children of Yashrael, saying, Elohim will surely visit you, and ye shall carry up my bones away hence with you. And they took their journey from Kukoth and encamped in Etham in the edge of the wilderness. And Yahuwah went before them by day in a pillar of a cloud to lead them the way, and by night in a pillar of fire to give them light, to go by day and night. He took not away the pillar of the cloud by day, nor the pillar of fire by night from before the people. All right. So um, that is all we're going to read on this because we have a lot of work to do on this because there are there are a lot of commandments. And so we are going to go back as a family and go over these and we will put them together. And this is where we are going to conclude for the evening. So thank you guys very much for spending your very valuable time seeking the word of Yah. And if any of you have any kind of questions, please put them in the comments. Uh, if you guys have any kind of um, commentary to what we are working on here or things that you heard, uh, please let us know. We are very interested in what people have to say. And um, gentlemen, do you have anything else? Uh, read your Bibles. And if you're enjoying, please read with us. Yeah, if you're enjoying, please read with us. Read on your own. Um, these are really, really good commandments, and the more you read them, the more you know. And if we do not read them, we obviously don't know. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right, everybody. Shalom. 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 Shalom.